In this video, I want to talk about the two main ways in which we can build applications for Apple Vision Pro. The first one is Unity, and the second one is Apple Native Frameworks. My goal with this is to give you a better understanding of the differences between the two approaches so that you can evaluate the trade-offs when making a choice that's right for your app. Vision OS allows us to develop apps for two basic type of experiences. Apple calls them immersive and fully immersive, which is confusing because they simply mean augmented reality and virtual reality. On a side note, if anyone at Apple is watching, it would be helpful to have no marketing jargon in the developer documentation. Anyways, immersive or augmented reality apps can live in a full space where your app controls the entire UI or they can live in the shared space where they run alongside other apps. And when they do that, your UI is confined to a fundamental UI element Apple calls a volume. A key thing to understand is how the system renders 3D content. To put it simply, a 3D rendering engine is what turns your code into the visual elements that a user interacts with in your app. If you're building an app that lives in the shared space or augmented reality full space, it will always be rendered with RealityKit, Apple's 3D rendering engine. As a result, apps built for this experience in Unity need to be translated to RealityKit. To do this, Unity has created a new technology called Polyspatial, which handles the translation of materials and shaders for you. If you're building a virtual reality app using Apple's native frameworks, it will also be rendered using RealityKit. On the other hand, if you are building a virtual reality app with Unity, it will be rendered using Unity. Let's now look at what all this means in a little more detail. With Apple native frameworks, development primarily takes place in Xcode, where you have access to SwiftUI previews for viewing 3D content and there's a seamless integration between SwiftUI and this 3D content. It's also equipped with a simulator for testing your app's interactivity and for instruments to optimize your app's performance. So all these things should be pretty familiar if you're an iOS developer. Apple also introduced a new tool called Reality Composer Pro, which serves to prepare 3D content for your app. And includes things like authoring particle systems to create lively and dynamic scenes. You can also create custom materials using Material X. Overall, if you choose Apple's native frameworks, it offers a integrated environment for creating, testing, and refining AR and VR applications. And it's the preferred approach by Apple. As I mentioned before, Unity apps operating in the shared space and AR full space are rendered using RealityKit. This rendering process requires the translation of materials and shaders. Thankfully, Unity's polyspatial technology is here to do most of the heavy lifting for you. Polyspatial handles the translation of materials, regular and skinned mesh renderings, particle effects and sprites. It even supports Unity's simulation features, letting you use mono behaviors, scriptable objects, and other standard tools. However, bear in mind that handwritten shaders aren't supported for RealityKit. With Polyspatial, Unity also introduces a feature called Play to Device, which lets you instantly preview your scene when working in Unity. There's also a new concept called volumetric cameras, which are essential to creating content for this shared space because you need to make sure that the content that you're creating is rendered properly in the volume amongst the other apps. User interactions on Vision Pro involve the use of eyes, hands, and tap gestures, which you can receive in your Unity project by configuring proper input colliders. There's also full hand tracking and hand post data to help you craft realistic and authentic user experiences. As of right now, Polyspatial is not available yet, but you can apply to the beta program for which I'll leave a link down in the description. 
Let's now talk about virtual reality apps. Unlike AR, these are directly rendered using Unity. A few critical points to consider. First, you should be using Unity's universal render pipeline because it's optimized to support foveated and single pass rendering, which will greatly improve performance of your app. Next, there's input. And Unity supports the XR Interaction Toolkit, which will simplify things like hand tracking for you and will make it super easy to add cross-platform compatibility for an app that can run on both the Vision Pro and a Quest, for example. All right, having said all this, here's some questions that you might want to think through to make the choice that's right for you. I think the first one is, what type of cross-platform compatibility do you want to achieve with your app? Do you want it to be cross-platform compatible within the Apple ecosystem or should it be cross-platform compatible within sort of the VR, MR headset ecosystem? Because uh, that's really going to uh, affect the type of technology you should choose. I mean, if you build an app with Apple native frameworks, you're not going to be able to run it on a Quest. So if that's a no-go, you should definitely not be building it with native frameworks. However, if you want to build an app that shares code between your Vision OS app and your iOS app and your Mac OS app and your iPad OS app, then you might want to write it in Swift. If you want to build an optimized experiences for the Apple ecosystem only, you might want to write it in Swift because chances are that development experience is going to be nicer. Um, it's just tight, more tightly integrated. Um, and there's less surface area for things to go wrong. I mean, polyspatial is something that Unity is probably spending a lot of time, money, and effort on, but it's always like a piece of glue uh, to uh, merge the two worlds, which is going to inherently introduce some friction. How much friction, we will have to see. Um, and lastly, I think an important point to consider is sort of what are you most comfortable with? If you're coming from the Unity world, it might be Unity. Uh, if you're an iOS developer, you might uh, want to choose uh, Apple frameworks because the key is to get to whatever MVP you were uh, trying to build as quickly as possible. And so if speed of execution is a key fact to consider. So sort of whatever is uh, a better choice for you personally is also uh, very, very important. If you're still watching, I assume you enjoy this type of content. So I would love to hear from you what you want to see next, what tech, type of technologies you want to see me cover, um, whether you want me to go into coding a little more, uh, and so forth. And um, yeah, feel free to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.